several years back, the Lakers were happened to be playing the Sacramento Kings. And I had a friend that was like this super huge fan of the Lakers and his wife worked at the Arden Fair Mall. Well, Kobe Bryant was on the team at the time and he thought he could slide over to the mall and go unnoticed. But this friend was so excited. He started calling people and other friends started calling people. And I got over to the mall and this crowd had began to gather around Kobe Bryant. Um, and I, I forget how he got out of that situation, but it just reminded me of a story of Jesus where large crowds followed him because they heard of the miraculous things that he was doing. They heard that he was opening blinded eyes, that he was healing the sick, that he was, he was healing broken hearts, which I love. He was delivering the oppressed. There's this one story occasion where he actually heals these two blind men and he tells them, hey, don't tell anybody about this yet because the crowds were so large. Immediately, the Bible says, they left out and they spread the story all over. The news was just so good, they couldn't keep it to themselves. Well, friends, I just wanna tell you, Jesus is the same today. He's still offering us the good news. He's still willing to bind up our broken, broken hearts. He's still delivering the oppressed. He still loves us. So I just wanna offer you that hope today that if you find yourself discouraged, oppressed, brokenhearted, Jesus has the good news. Maybe you can go read the whole story in Matthew 9. Check it out where Jesus just continuously heals and blesses and is willing to meet us right where we are. That's the good news. God bless.